to today's video. I wanted to make a video um, to help with raising our vibrations. Um, I've been feeling a bit stagnant and having kind of recurring thoughts that have maybe been keeping me a little bit down. Um, maybe you can relate. And I, I've been working on some practices and, um, you know, I've been keeping up with myself Reiki practice to help raise my vibration and, and keep it high. So I wanted to uh, share some of that with you today. So we're going to be using some crystals, some uh, selenite crystals, some amethyst, some clear quartz, um, just to keep the space really high vibrational, keep our energy high vibrational so we can connect with our best self, our highest self, and keep that connection to the universe and the world around us uh, strong and um, yeah, just be in our, our best state. So um, I'm going to go ahead and, and get started. Cleansing the space here with some Palo Santo. I like Palo Santo because it's it's thought to lift the denser energies from the space, but keep the more um, higher, high vibrational energies. So. We don't want to get rid of all of the energy. We want to just augment and amplify the, the higher energies that we do have present because we always have that within us. Sometimes you just shift your focus to maybe something that's a little bit heavier that's not serving you for your highest purpose. So going to call upon that higher form of energy today. around our healing space today and if you're not already in a nice comfy relaxed position this might be a good time to go ahead and, and get yourself there maybe fluff up your pillow or prop your legs up you could maybe put a bolster behind your knees if you're laying down that can give some nice support to the lower back objects and beings. Um, I know for me, whenever I am needing confirmation or um, the universe seems to speak to me in, in feather 
pictures and I know my one of my kind of spirit guides is my grandmother and she always sends me feathers so I associate feathers with one of the highest vibrations that I can access so we're just gonna use this feather to bring in that high vibrational energy today gently dust off anything that's a little bit denser that's no longer serving us and now that I'm thinking about it my grandmother actually sent me this feather so she's she's always there sending, sending me love through the feathers it's always a nice little treat I feel like it's like a little hug or a kiss or a little high five. You're doing great. You can do it. Keep going. So just loving you out here. Gently brushing away those denser energies your aura, your energetic field, lovely and fluffy. And one of the really high vibrational crystals that we're going to use today, I love using, is selenite. And it's to be one of the master healing crystals as well. But we're just going to use this now to just gently start at your crown, moving down, using this to kind of pull in and anchor those higher vibrational energies to come in to your aura now. going from your feet back up to your crown back down to your feet again now just on either side of your head so just balancing out that energy there um, so if you're laying on a bed this will just go on either side of your pillow um, or if you're you know like on a recliner or a sofa it'll just go up resting next to your your head here This is my little chunk of clear quartz that is so beautiful and sparkly. I love it. It's like little sparkle nugget of angel dust. And I'm going to pop that just of your head, so on your crown chakra here. And again, clear quartz is another very high vibrational crystal that we're going to be utilizing today. And then the last crystal that we're going to use in our session today is this gorgeous chunk of raw amethyst again nice and sparkly like those lights from the angel 
angels sparkling, glittering, pulling that gorgeous high vibrational energy in to you. And I'm going to put this at your feet just so that it gives you a bit of grounding. Since we are going to be working with a lot of high vibrational energy, just it is important to ground ourselves so that we can still walk this earth while balancing that out with the higher vibrational energy. So I'm just going to place this softly at your feet. call the Reiki energy in, I just want to use my gorgeous Koji chime just to kind of help start to call in some of those higher frequencies through sound. Sound is probably one of the most tangible vibrations that we can experience through our ears. We can also feel it in our skin. We can feel the vibrations of the chime running up through my arm as it, as it tinkles. So we're just gonna just gently go through your aura with this lovely Koji chime today. Reminds me of angel sounds or fairy sounds. Very high vibrational. energy in today and I'm specifically going to be using angelic Reiki which in all of the Reiki practices that I have been trained in um, for me and probably everyone's maybe a bit different the angelic Reiki was felt the um, the most high vibrational and, and just really beautiful, soft energy that just feels divine to connect with. So I'm going to be using that today. So all you have to do is set the intention to receive this energy today because energy knows no space or time, so this will come to you wherever you are, whenever you're watching this. Okay. Go ahead and close your eyes if they're not already closed, and just relax and enjoy this bath of high vibrational Reiki energy. to start at your crown chakra. So I'm going to just give you basically a wash in angelic reiki from the top to the bottom to just raise 
release up your vibration so that you connect with your highest self, with those intentions that are for your highest good. Moving down over your brow chakra now. your throat chakra now. Your heart chakra. Solar plexus. Sacral chakra. Root chakra. energy 
three points there. Sending light, Reiki energy up through the soles of your feet. body, from your feet to your crown, out surrounding your aura, and encapsulating you into a aura. Think about your bubble surrounding you, keeping your energy high, vibrational, full of that white, reiki light. Setting the intention that only that energy which raises your vibration is allowed in through your auric bubble. All other thoughts, emotions, energies, you may come in contact with during your day are going to just gently bounce off to be transmuted into lighter, higher frequency energies, thoughts, and emotions. So you can take this higher vibrational frequency with you wherever you go and just having been in contact with you because you've been working on your vibration, your energies going to bring that with you wherever you go. So bringing that light where, with you wherever you go, helping to raise the vibration of the planet and helping keep yourself in alignment with your highest self, the intentions, thoughts, and emotions that serve you best. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you have a lovely rest of your day and